the independence monument and I've brought Malika here. I hope she likes it. Hey guys welcome back to our youtube channel in case you're new please subscribe hit the like button and press the notification bell so that you don't miss out on this amazing video in kampala city hey guys welcome back to our youtube channel in case you're new please subscribe hit the like button and press the notification bell so that every time i post a video i'm looking around for not people to snatch my phone so guys, I didn't do an intro for this video, that's why I'm doing it right now. But as you can see, I'm in the city, like I'm in Kapala city and giving um, Malika a tour. Yeah, so guys, I hope you enjoy this video. Okay, so guys, I'm here with your girl Malika Kenya. Malika Kenya in Uganda, mm -hmm. Kampala to be specific. <laughs> so how is the sunshine treating you Fresh. now? It's hot, you can see how my face is shining. It's really really hot here, more of like Mombasa weather. Oh, so Mombasa is this hot? Mombasa is this hot. Okay. Yeah. So guys, let me take her through the city, yeah. the noise. What did you call the city down there? Ah, the organized chaos. The organized chaos in the <laughs> downtown. <laughs> what? Where am I thinking for? What? Downtown Kampala. Oh, okay. So let's go guys, I'll be showing you a little and a little, but I hope you enjoy. <laughs> so guys, we are at the... Um, independence monuments as you can see i don't know if it, my phone is not making justice but um yeah i've brought her here i've brought malika here to see this so basically me i'm not going to do if you need to watch this video all of it you have to go to malika's page and then watch it but for me i'm giving you like the highlight highlights of this so this is the independence monument basically i can go and read what is, so this is the city behind me, you can see. That's Kampala city. So, they are saying this monument is one of the most important pieces of Uganda's heritage. It signifies the newborn country let free from colonial, from colonial rules. The monument was established to commemorate Uganda's independence. I hope you guys can hear what I'm saying. Uganda gained its independ her independence on the 9th October 1962 from the Britain. Mm -hmm. You guys, did you guys know that? I don't know if you knew. And then, with the post election, with the post elections which were held in 1962 won by an alliance between UPC and Kawaka Yeka. Those were the two alliances. Putting Sir Apollo Milton Obote as the Uganda's first prime minister. So the Uganda's first prime minister was Sir Apollo Milton Obote, who later became the president. Anyway, and Sir Edward Mutesa II had the president of Uganda so Sir Edward Mutesa who was still the king became our first president and Apollo Milton Obote becoming our prime minister so guys there are photos here but I I'll show you let me rotate the camera then I can show you guys Malika, you should use this to take photos like these videos up. I'm also coming for photos. So guys, the independence monument 
is positioned in the heart of Kampala city at Speak Road. With an elevation of six meters, the Independence Monument is an iconic sculpture. Yeah. Mm. That's okay. So guys, this is the Independence Monument and I've brought Malika here. I hope she likes it. But I, I told her I'm not going to do like the whole video. I'll just give you bits. But if you want to watch the whole video, you have to go to Malika's channel and you watch the whole of the tour of hello, Kampala hello, City. Hello, 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 hello. And I hope you're going to like it there. I want to leave a description. Uh, uh, okay. Link in the description box below there. Yeah, yeah see you guys in the video. Yeah. Constitutional square. Yeah. Like the route to downtown there, and then this is Kampala Road, right? Yeah, this is Kampala Road. This is Kampala Road. Okay, you can see the border there. You can see the border there. It's hectic to yeah. move here, but yeah. you have to find your way. Yeah. You can see Kampala, Kampala. Kampala is Uganda's national and commercial capital, bordering Lake Victoria, Africa's largest lake. It's a city on seven hills. Let me take you through downtown Kampala. <laughs> Welcome to Buganda Kingdom. Buganda is a Bantu kingdom within Uganda. The kingdom of Buganda is the largest of the traditional kingdoms in present day East Africa, consisting of Buganda's central region, including the Ugandan capital, Kampala. Buganda has a long and extensive history and filed in the certain century under the first king kato chinto the founder of buganda's chinto dynasty buganda grew up to become one of the largest and the most powerful states in east africa during the 18th and 19th century right now we are going at Idi Amin's torture chamber so i've been seeing this on youtube so i went to go there by myself so hopefully i'll take you guys if i'm in good mood anyway my battery might cut me down <laughs> but let's just see what it is Amin's torture chamber was built in Lubiri Mengo, has an armory but later turned into a torture ground. It had a metallic door wired to power and filled with water in the corridors. Innocent people were arrested, driven there, murdered, and their bodies were thrown into that lake. So guys, as 
every leader they all have bad and good i won't say amin wasn't a good president i wasn't born yet but with the evidence right now i think he was a good president for the republic of uganda anyway that's my opinion and you can also have your opinion history can lie <laughs> or history like history is written by people and everyone can opt to write what they feel like but anyway that's not what brought us here but let's go and see how the tosha shemba looked like everybody's husband was inside here even some people uh, some people and those families all those people passed away inside these cells i think they prayed they could come here and visit when they visit the other they even shed tears from here they cried seeing that their family their, their family members were killed innocently in this place and the reason why we built this chamber up now is to show people it's to get evidence that even when i'm about to kill they can be that genius yeah. and this is the evidence now come and see the last one Blood, if we put blood somewhere, yeah. we'll turn it, it changes to black. Yeah. So that is mine. Hmm? Yeah. So after killing these people, they could throw their dead bodies in the water body. They could throw their dead bodies. So this is the Tosharing chamber of Amin, right? Where Amin used to torture people from. The saddest thing about here, like people who were killed like before they died, some people had a gut of writing and leaving a message for him. So basically one outstanding message is a man that wrote that um, wrote in Luganda that you've killed me but Obote, you've killed me but what about my kids? So basically he left his kids. I think you guys can see the written things there. Maybe I'll zoom. So he wrote in Luganda saying, Obote on this Avana Bangi. Which, which translate that you have killed me, Obote, but what about my kids? Like, who am I leaving my kids to? Something like that. Yeah. So that's Sad, but let's go to that. Mengo. Just before the gate into the palace is a fireplace locally known as Shotogombolola, whose fire never goes out. The tribal light it when the king gets on throne and it will forever light until the king leaves the throne or dies thank you guys for watching this video and subscribe hit the like button and press the notification bell so that every time i post a video you're here to vibe with me bye